All right, welcome back to Good Morning Ninja Show. Yes, for those now we don't deal with me from the beginning. I appreciate you because uh, we did here and we're doing this all for you. That's why I put this together. 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every weekday, Monday to Friday. We just finished our newspaper review segment and Ezugu Chukudi was with me in the studio to analyze the newspapers as we they always do. Well, we then move on to our next uh, segment where I promise on a better interview with a very special guest this morning. We're speaking to uh, Ude Chukuman, a public affairs analyst and uh, we're going to be looking into very 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 important conversations we're talking about responsibility in leadership and uh, let's let's touch some few things regarding that welcome to the show uh mr ode welcome again thank you very much uh, good morning all right uh, i'd be like say you're going to need to speak up a bit because your audio is not too loud i'm going to need you to help me speak up a bit uh, so that people go feel hear you better all right. I say on a good morning. Or oh, is it any better now? Yeah, we, we 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 can try. We can try to have this conversation. Let's 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 move on. So I always uh, get to ask our guest uh, when they, they join me on the show to find out how you are honestly because we know there's a pandemic and a lot of things have changed. So honestly, how are you? Well, thank God, uh, life. At least we have our life. A lot of people have lost their life in the process. Give God all the glory, show it from us, this, uh, everything to the point, even if we had expected better. But all the same, give all glory to God. Life goes on. We are just normal. We are hoping that uh, through the same time, we we'll have uh, better. I think we'll go back to For now, my advice to everybody is just be safe and uh, keep safe. Keep all the glory. So as it be, so sure you believe say we will ever return back to the way things be before. Now from here we go to move, go front. Well, don't ask if I say anything can happen. Any rumors they are they fly up and down, some good stuff in that will get big cure up, but put the stuff they will put for vaccine. But whichever the case, me and my own are just stay safe and uh, at least protect myself, protect my family. Wear my blue mask when I'm going to public places and uh, try as much as possible to behave myself. And if uh, God wants and uh, God willing, uh, things go back to the way they be. Because if you really look at malaria, has killed more people than COVID will ever kill. And as of now, I've got a couple of friends who have infected people. And they said that they were just so green and they feel better and they're back home. So if uh, at the end of the day, so we solve the problem, I think God just let us know that we'll come to the future. And let's move on. Because business is suffering. Especially some of us, we the uh, event industry and uh, attribution. Some of us have not done it in February. Oh, then we're just staying up. With. So it's important for government and uh, group politicians to really mm -hmm. look at what's going on. Uh, All right. So as it be, that make we even enter the conversations of today, speaking about uh, responsibility in leadership. Make we even start uh, by defining what in leadership be, so people go understand why we they touch this topic today. So may we begin from there. What is leadership? Who is a leader? So people go feel understand that one first. Thank you very much. Sir. In my own perspective, a leader, uh, anybody who they put himself properly to show people way, say, okay, oh, now like this, this is supposed to happen. And to, to see by, like I said, so if, I should say they behave, I should say they do their own thing, make sure they look, so they see, say, okay, oh, now like this, they go, now like this, they go. So we just to talk out for mouth, but to, at least so by your way of life, by the things that you do and uh, how you do it. You know, make people learn from and try as much as possible. Uh, how did they talk about this language now? Because I decided to speak the speed in English mm -hmm. so that uh, was okay. But all the same. So if you, if you want to speak up something. for English, you're fine. You can say it in English, it's, your, it's fine, no problem. Oh, okay, that's great then. So basically, a leader is anyone who is able to do way like this is way 
school, like uh, the Bible, Christ taught by his way of life. So it's about showing people the actual way to go and uh, being an example for other people. Hmm. I, I like the fact that you use that term, being an example for other people. So leaders, suppose they lead by example, right? Do the things where, the things where you they talk, say, make people they do, you got to do and first so that people could feel, see, say, now waiting, you want me to do be that. Now, this brings us to our conversation today, and uh, we they use this one as a foundation to ride on the other parts of the conversation. So we get a lot of laws, rules, and regulations for the country inside our constitution. And when the situations come up, uh, the government, they also they put in some kind things in place to make sure, say, people uh, adhere to these rules and regulations. Now, speaking about a certain class of leaders, or because as, as a leader, where you be, are you above these rules and regulations? As a leader, where you be? Because this one will lead us to our next part of the conversation. Would you think as leaders, we they uh, above the rules and regulations or the laws where we they put in place? Because since now we they create the laws, are we above the laws as leaders? Sadly, that should not be the case. That shouldn't be the case. But in Nigeria, unfortunately, this is what we see every day. You even down traffic rules, even down something as simple as that. You find that Nigerian leaders who flow on the opposite side of that, they, they are completely above the law. And this is not so. There's no society that wants to forward where there are a set of rules to set people and another set of rules to another set of people. If we must move forward as there's one set of rules. And that set of rules binding on all persons mm -hmm. in the country. But where we, where we are in Nigeria today is a situation where there's one set of rules for some and there's no set of rules for the other set Because those in government honestly don't have rules. And the truth about this is because we also have a followership problem. The followership problem says that we allow our leaders to take advantage and run and do as they like. Nobody wants to take responsibility. Whether it's followership or leadership, that everybody does. Okay, maybe that was the life when you reach my son. Okay, so as it stands now, we know that uh, uh, a lot of uh, people would say uh, the leaders are the problem. They are putting these things and they are not uh, uh, delivering properly. For a, for a, uh, for a very um, open kind of conversation, do you think that the leaders are a reflection of the people? Exactly, that, that's the honest. Mm. So, so anything we see the, 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 the leaders do is just a reflection of what the people will do. Now, bringing us to that uh, same conversation, let's take, for instance, the situation that happened in, in Nigeria. Okay, but like I said, we get some technical issues right now, but uh, I will, we will try to connect back to uh, Ude in a few minutes. We're trying to get that. We're talking about uh, responsibility in leadership. A lot of things we as leader, we suppose they do, and the things that we're not supposed to do. He has already established the fact that a leader is someone who leads by example. You must lead by example. You know if you just they talk them, and you know they do them, because that way, the people where they lead, wouldn't see what you are saying as uh, necessary or as compulsory if you will set these laws, no uh, follow them through. So that's why we decided to get this conversation this morning because there's a lot of things going on in the country that has raised the eyebrows of the citizens, saying, wait, oh, if they say make we not do this one, and they, they do them, which is it that uh, they are higher than us or they have more privilege than the citizens? And uh, would they also uh, make them clear, they say the leaders are just a reflection of the people. So make, uh, make Nigerians also understand, say, the times where they blame government, now we, with ourselves, we they blame because now we elect these people into office. Now we, they, they, they represent us into office. Okay, but I say we don't come back with Ude. Sorry for that uh, communication uh, connection issue. But I say the technical uh, matter been happened, but uh, we're back again. Welcome back, Ude. Uh, thank you. Yes, so uh, we mean they discuss about how uh, leadership is uh, an act led by example. You have to do what you say, make people do. Show them how it's done. But in a country like this, we've been seeing that some certain levels of people, they fit, they flout these laws and orders. Let's use the coronavirus pandemic as the case study today, knowing that uh, when the coronavirus come, people don't know what's going to happen. The country went on lockdown. 
right? When you went on lockdown, the uh, travel Very ban true. was in place, interstate movement was in place, and a lot of other things were in place. But we see that some of the leaders were still moving from one place to another, one state to another. We're still going on their daily activities, and they, would, they were enforcing laws on the citizens to not uh, move around. So in a case like this, what do you have to say to this situation as it is? Because are they immune to these things? Are they above these laws that they set? And what kind of examples are they leaving for the citizens? Let's, let's hear your part in this story. Yeah, the, the case of Nigeria is lack of lack of responsibility, and I will also try to state love. We seem not to love one another here. I think maybe it's an African thing. Because if you love yourself, love your brother, if, if you don't love yourself, that you cannot love the next person. Mm -hmm. The problem we have is that we have the, we are unable, we are unable to love one another, we are unable to love ourselves enough to even love because if I love myself, but then I hear that there's, there's a pandemic, there's out there that's killing people, and just because, okay, I want, I have powers, I, or I'm fighting for power, I don't really care whether I die or maybe I feel like, okay, I have some money to take care of myself, whatever the next one is affected, and whatever the next one covers, I don't really care, but uh, as far as I can take care of myself. But times are so, but most of those who have died so far, it uh, also shows that leaders are not in street. You have the case of uh, Kari and some of the uh, officials who have uh, also died of the food. But still, the politicians don't care because power is what's most important to them. But I think still, or still, Nigerian people have no responsibility because if the leaders are failing, then we, the followers, to adjust themselves, be able to. Those leaders that will kill the certain things that will come from the Yeah. If, a, if there are rules, those rules bind by everybody. So if a leader wants to come outside to come and campaign for him, or I tell him, sorry, I cannot. I like to talk about that. Hmm. But because, okay, I won't get more small things from him, or if he ends up to get more contract, he could kill. I'm sure there's a lot of hunger in the land, so I need to see what I've got to do. Sometimes you can understand that sense uh, that is there. But at the same time, you need to learn to spend or suffer what we from for that. You know, a, a, a lot of Nigerians are clamoring for penalties, sanctions, and things like that because every law that's been broken has a penalty or a sanction attached to it. But we see that most times these things don't apply to some certain class of Nigerians. And we're talking about the leaders in question or the people in high uh, places. Okay, we all know that uh, when uh, a couple of uh, people were, were uh, involved in a, a driving concert in Abuja and uh, one of the Nigerian artists was also there in Aramali, uh, there was a very big situation around that. People were, were, uh, were, were called in for questioning, they were detained, and they were sanctioned to pay certain fines. It also happened with uh, Funke and Kidele when she had a birthday party and for her husband. And people who attended that party were also called to question and detained and giving a fine. But in the case where we see these leaders who, so in quotes, are um, um, flouting this law and order, they don't get a sanction or a fine. They just get a warning. So why do you think this is happening? And it's, it's quite unfortunate that at this time, these are the kind of conversations we're having. Well, in, in all fairness, when it comes to, to movements, I think there's uh, all the diplomatic communities that, are, that exist. So for certain uh, cater of leadership, because I know there were exemptions, like doctors were allowed to move some of the people in here. Yeah, they had essential to, workers were able to move around. Yeah, the essential, essential services were able to move. Uh, and a lot of politicians seem to have fallen into those categories of essential workers that I don't know. But I know that if they had more the guests of diplomatic uh, covers that allow them. So for all who are out there who are thinking that, okay, because the teachers are moving, uh, we should move as well. Well, I think our lives should be more important more careful about our own lives than look at what other people are doing 
and say, okay, because what they're doing we follow. However, it's also important for us to find a way around. It is difficult for us at the moment because the people who are involved are the people who are responsible for making this thing happen, which is the law itself. They are the law who they are the law keepers and they are the law breakers. So it's difficult for us as followers to be able to say, okay, we have to enforce send out on our leaders. Because the ones who are supposed to be the ones who enforce the law or not. And they are the same people who are breaking the law. But for us, first thing first of all, protect ourselves and try and now show leadership ourselves to say that, okay, we are going to protect ourselves together. If you people on the other side decide that, okay, it is not going to work for you, well, all well and good. We start by protecting ourselves. And when we start protecting ourselves, we now begin to look for people among us who have strong character, who have strong credibility, who have strong integrity. Those that become our example, those that are the people. But if we do not, first and foremost, work on ourselves as people, mm -hmm. it will be difficult for us to select the right kind of people. So now, in every society, there are two costs. Either you have it on the worst end or on the very good end. Mm -hmm. So for us now, we have to be able to keep people from the very good end. And we have to reflect, have to reflect on ourselves as people and say, okay, are the type of people that we want to become. And for us to become, there's a saying that if you want a miracle, you have to give a miracle by yourself. So if we want a miracle in Nigeria, all of us as people have to begin to change our ways of giving, our ways of thinking, and how we do. Because leadership at the end of the day does not only reside with those who are faced of authority. Because whether you like it or not, all of us have one form of authority. Or yeah. the other mm -hmm. in our homes, in our places of work, mm -hmm. in the on the road, wherever it is that we are, we have one form of responsibility or authority that mm -hmm. the side goes. So we in those places of authority have to begin to reflect the kind of country that we want by doing the right thing and by leading by example, by showing people that okay, this thing can be done right. And when we are started correcting it from the individual Line that that I'm coming from this angle because uh, I think this government said uh, something about peace in Nigeria. You want to do you know, something like that, mm -hmm. but honestly, to be the reverse is the leadership that shows how this thing work. Unfortunately, we do not have that, so we have to find another way around to make our country work. So we have to first and foremost start to work on ourselves and. By that, we'll be able to identify kind of characters that we want to be there. If you know, we continue to allow our our people, we yeah. will continue to behave. So we have to show by choosing the right path. Well, this, the, the, it's, it's, it's a good thing that uh, we moved into the responsibility of the citizens themselves because, like we always say, it, it's always two sides to a story. Uh, the government has their own, um, the leaders have their own role to play and the citizens who also have their own role to play. But it's good that you mentioned that uh, we, the citizens, have to find better ways of selecting the people who represent us. Now, in a case where, um, as of now, the citizens are saying they are crying, they are speaking up, but uh, the leaders are still um, doing what they want to do. In a case like that, what should the citizens do and how can they make their voices heard faster and their requests implemented faster? Because to them, it seems like they are speaking into deaf ears when it comes to the leaders. And these are the same people who came to the citizens or to the people to ask for, uh, their, uh, for them to lead or represent the people. So in a case like this, where the citizens are saying that the leaders are not listening, how is the best way to go about it from the citizens' perspective? Well, we have to, we have to match our words with action. <laughs> Not enough for us to speak and say, okay, we, we will not take this. Look, the other day, years ago, we were to the And, well, people just got tired of talking, and everybody just let it slide. I think that's the point where Nigerian people have got. Mm -hmm. They feel that their voices are no longer, are no longer heard, so they don't 
people talking. But I feel like in 2012, Nigerians not stop at speaking. They mark their words with actions by coming to the street and protesting and standing their ground mm -hmm. and ensuring that what they wanted to happen happened. Mm -hmm. That was Nigeria Expo. Nigeria today, everybody just stop, 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 stop. And then when we stop, go back to our houses and end it, you know, it's for good, like my friend. But if we want a thing, we have ready for that. We have to come out and fight our actions Back our words that with action by saying by this thing that no, this is no longer acceptable. Take for instance, see all these guys, police passes doing the wrong, buying his hands. But if we have five, ten of us and we say no, we cannot kill all of them. He wants to send this to fire a shot here, and then if we attack him and let him know that no, 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 you cannot do that. Not necessarily attack, him, but show him that we're not moving for what he wants to kill all of us. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that the Nigerian man is scared. He has a family to protect. Has, but the truth is that he will not be afraid. He will not be afraid. Even the family that we're trying to protect will not be able to protect them. Yeah. Because of the So that was our big part of our word to act. Mm -hmm. We insist on such things. We say, no, we're not going to reveal this thing was done right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like the fact that we're able to touch all these aspects regarding uh, responsibility in leadership. And as you take Tokam, we as individual citizens, we are leaders in our own rights. We they lead one business or the other, one organization or the other, one family or the other. So we should, we should also be able to reflect the, the right way of leadership in all these things that we're doing. And it's a good thing that uh, the conversation has been put out there. You said it clearly that a leader should lead by example. What you say, do what you say, and not just do, let us do what you, you know, do what you do and let us do what you say. It's all about that. And we appreciate the fact that we had this conversation, uh, Ude Chukuma, today, uh, knowing the fact that the current situation we're facing in the country, uh, the citizens against the, the, the leaders, it's looking like there's a wide disconnect in between, and uh, uh, a whole level of distrust is, is there also. But uh, with time, we would get to understand our responsibility to play as citizens and as also leaders. Thank you very much for this conversation uh, this morning, and we're hoping that we have, uh, everybody who watched it probably got something out of it uh, regarding the re major responsibilities of being leaders. Thank you for your time. Thank you, so. All right. All right, guys, thank you very much. Well, we just decided to do that interview with uh, Ude Chukuma regarding responsibility in leadership. And we want to apologize for the audio uh, technicalities. It wasn't too loud, but we could try to make out the statements from what he said. But I know it's not be our fault due to the fact that we know if we get our, um, our guests inside the studio with us. Due to the coronavirus pandemic and the guidelines set up by the NCDC, knowing that people should maintain and, uh, social distancing. And if you don't have to go out, you can stay home. So we decided to use, our, uh, use Skype to get our conversations with our guests. But we believe, say, that one was very insightful and very uh, clear for everyone we watch. As leaders, as individuals, we are all leaders in our own rights, and we need to lead by example.